All right, my beautiful love spirit, what messages do we have here for my beautiful Virgos? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my beautiful Virgos, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus, please. What do Virgos need to know today, please, spirit? What do Virgos need to know today? So we have the world card. And we have the Emperor, Aries, Taurus, Energy. What do my Virgos need to know today, please, Spirit? What do my Virgos need to know today, please? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits, and Guides. Clarity. Okay, so we have the Ace of Wands. We have the Ten of Cups. Tell me about my Virgos, please. What do my Virgos need to know today, please, Holy Spirit? Okay. We have the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. And we have the Four of Pentacles. Under the deck, the Page of Wands. Okay, so Virgo, this could be energy in or around you. Which means this could be something you're going through. It could be something somebody close to you is going through. Okay. So Virgo, I feel like with the Emperor and the World card, I feel like someone here is standing their ground. Um, I feel like something here has come to a close. Something has come to an ending. Okay. And I feel like someone here is very serious about it. They have truly, they're, 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 uh, they won't be budged. That's what I'm trying to say. Something here has truly ended and this person is not budging. There's no going back. Okay. Um, with the Ace of Wands and the Ten of Cups, I feel like somebody here has moved on. Okay. Now, Virgo, if you haven't met, if you're the one who has closed uh, uh, the door on somebody, um, it could be you or it could be the other person. I feel like it's the person that is walking away. Someone here that is really putting their foot down and saying, listen, no more. I'm not going back to this. I'm not doing this again. I feel like that is the person that started talking to somebody new. I feel like someone new has come into the picture. And with the Ten of Cups, I feel like it's a divinely guided soul tie. And I also feel that this is a long-term connection, okay? Okay. Now, with the Page of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles, I see an apology coming in or communication coming in. And with the Four of Pentacles, there's an energy of, I don't want to let you go, okay? So Virgo, what we have here is a situation is somebody here is very dead set on ending a situation or closing out a cycle. The person that is dead set and closing out this cycle is moving on to new love, something that is very long term. This is not just a hit it and quit it good time type of thing. Someone here has moved on to a very serious relationship. And what we have now is the person that's being left behind wanting to come back, wanting to apologize because they don't want to let go of the connection. So someone here just straight up does not want to let go. Spirit, what messages do we have here for my Virgos, please? Clarity, guidance, and love messages for Virgo, please. Tell me about Virgo, please. Give me the world, please. Tell me about the world. Ooh, wow. Too many cards. Nine of Cups in the reverse came out. Tell me about the Emperor here for Virgo. Tell me about the Emperor here for Virgo. Ooh, that one flying. Oh, guys, hold on one second. Hold on one second. Let me see if I can grab this. Ooh, Queen of Wands in the reverse. Leo, Sag, Aries, Energy. So Virgo, here's what's happening. Someone here is closing out a cycle because with the nine of cups in the reverse, there was no emotional fulfillment here. There was no happiness. There was no joy. Someone here was constantly mad, upset, jealous, angry, insecure, feeling unsafe, um, you know, emotional outbursts. And with the nine of wands under the deck, someone here just straight up had enough. They were tired of being defensive. They were tired of being hurt. Okay. So someone here is really standing their ground and saying, listen, enough is enough. I've had it. You know, tell me about this ace of wands, please. 
the Hierophant Taurus energy. So I feel that the person the person that is saying that they've had enough enough is enough is about to meet someone new um this is their forever person this is their forever person so virgo if you're leaving someone behind you're about to find your forever person and virgo if you are getting left behind the person that is leaving you behind is about to meet someone that they are going to spend the rest of their lives with ten of cups and the page of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo energy they may this may have been a friend they may start off as a friend or it could be that someone here is going to have a child eventually with this new person tell me about the page of pentacles the four of wands tell me about the four of pentacles the high priestess and the knight of swords aquarius gemini libra energy cancer piscean energy and we've got the devil card under the deck and <laughs> Oh, wow. We've got the Justice card and the Five of Wands, Libra Energy. <coughs> Virgo, I feel like what's happening here is the person that is getting left behind is coming in with an offer of stability. They're coming in saying, listen, no, I want to get married. I want to move in. I want to buy a house. I want to do all these things. But the reason why this person is doing this, Virgo, is because intuitively they know and understand that if they want to keep the person, they have to rush in and say whatever they need to say to, to kill the competition, okay? What we have here is somebody that is jealous, someone that is facing karma, someone here that, is, you know, they're just, this someone here is just obsessed and jealous and facing karma they're lonely you know what i'm saying they're lonely and i feel like someone here is trying to block a connection someone here is starting to is trying to stop a connection from happening um so i feel like what's happening is we've got the person that is being left behind that is trying to infiltrate the new relationship does that make sense um they don't want that to take place yeah, see, Page of Wands, Leo Sagittarius Energy, the Six of Cups, and the Seven of Wands. What's going to happen here is we have an X with the Six of Cups that's coming back around. Seven of Wands, this person wants to block or stop someone from leaving. And the Page of Wands, they're coming in. Someone here with the Five of Swords and the Three of Cups wants to fight for this connection at all costs, Virgo. Someone here wants to reconcile, okay? Someone here wants to reconcile so virgo you take that as it <coughs> as it resonates this could be you know again you might be leaving someone someone here might be leaving you but i feel that the person that's being left behind is not going to let go easily okay tell me about virgo here please spirit what do we have here for virgo reconciliation Someone from your past is returning uh, into your life. And I feel like this person is going to want forgiveness. I feel like they're coming in with a lot of passion and determination. And with that four of wands energy and wedding, I feel like what you have here is someone, someone coming back saying, no, listen, I want higher levels of commitment. But the problem here is, is that the past person is only saying this because they want to hold on and block someone from leaving what we have though is someone new in the picture that legitimately does really want long-term commitment do you understand so you know uh, someone here is in competition with a very solid uh new person someone that's coming in with a very solid offer okay all right guys i love you so very much and i will see you soon bye loves